My mom died of cancer December 13th, and I came out here to spread her ashes. And uh, I, I got my luggage stolen at the airport and I didn't have anywhere to go. All the shelters out here in Tampa were full. All the shelters were full in clear water. I've never been homeless in my life. I wasn't good at it. There isn't a handbook on it. It's been a lot of struggle. It's been a lot of nights where I didn't have anything to eat. Uh, I didn't know anybody. So upon sleeping at the airport in a chair for two weeks, I started making phone calls and uh, Metropolitan Ministries was one of the phone calls that I had made. When I first met Yvette, you know, uh, just the state that she was in emotionally was um, not great and uh, just trying to figure out how we could uplift her and in order to help get her out of her current situation. When I first walked in here, it sometimes is surreal. I, I've slept here for the first two weeks on the ground because that's where I'm used to sleeping. I haven't been used to sleeping in a bed. So I find myself walking around and touching the walls to see if it's real. I did a lot for a couple of weeks and then it hit me, but every day I wake up and I look at the mat that I slept on and I realize I was on the ground and look at where I am now. No matter if you're homeless or not, everybody deserves respect and dignity and Metropolitan Ministries is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am now. Come here, come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.